What? Huh? What'd you say? Ah, I'm just messing. What's up, everybody? Guess who it is? If you didn't know, it's the one and only D Free. I didn't did that like twice. I've done did. I've done that. I have did that. Um, <laughs> I've done that twice now in, in a couple of videos. I don't know if they're gonna be back to back, but it's pretty fun to kind of change up my intro on you guys. But anyways, back on topic. Today's video, our discussion. I don't know if you want to call this discussion, but anyways, this video is about my Xenoverse 2 feedback. So if you guys didn't know, a lot of YouTubers have been doing this, so I'm just going to weigh in and give my opinions on the matter and what I would personally like to see come to fruition in Xenoverse 2. And the first thing I'm going to say is, oh my god, oh my god, Dimps, you guys need to give us more characters. I'm sorry. I like the character roster. It's short but sweet. I like it, but we're missing some key characters. I mean, like, the characters that we have to go out and make mods or the mod, I'm not a mod maker, but anyways, we have to go get mods for and people have to make mods for. You guys need to look at that and say, okay, these are the characters that they really want in the game. And I'm talking about the characters like Super Saiyan 1 Gogeta. I'm talking about um, Majin Vegeta, but for some reason you gave us Dark Vegeta. Nobody nobody even cares about Dark Vegeta. I understand the whole plot of the storyline, but whatnot, but you should have gave us Majin. Come on, you guys know you're wrong for that. There's so many characters that we could get that you guys um, are just really sleeping on. So, like Janemba, and a lot of the characters that are not necessarily canon from the movies and whatnot, it would be awesome to see. You guys do all these freaking parallel quests with the um, Great Apes. It would be so awesome to see one with Herudagarn or Hachiak. Like, seriously, that would be epic. So you guys need to step up your game, honestly, on the characters because it's short but sweet, and uh, it's not it's not getting it done. Especially after a while, it gets kind of old. I understand the DLC concept. At least make a DLC. Um, that's that's it, honestly. As far as characters goes, that's you guys need to just step your game up. And um, on top of that, I, I want to weigh in on equipment now. I feel like there's a, a lot of equipment you can use, especially Z souls. I mean, we have way too many Z souls, and a lot of them just don't even get used. Um, as far as equipment goes, though, I feel like we should probably take off attributes on equipment because it's limiting. It limits what people will wear to the point where you see everybody in Toki Toki City, if you're logged in, you see everybody wearing the same exact four, five, six outfits because they're the best ones to wear. Now, I personally will wear whatever I want to wear. It doesn't really matter to me, but I feel like you shouldn't get penalized for wearing what you want to wear. And what I mean by penalized is you'll have a stat that that's going down when you would need for it to at least stay where it is based on your skill points attributions or distribution I'm sorry so I feel like we need to take attributes off of the characters that that needs to be done needs to be done ASAP I'm sorry characters off the equipment that needs to be done as soon as possible and uh, I, I like the equipment there's some characters like equipment that they can kind of throw in there I'm not gonna nitpick I see that they try to throw in as many full outfits I'm not gonna nitpick but there's some more stuff they can throw in there I, but aside from like the the attributes on the clothes and taking those off i'm okay with everything as far as that goes and me honestly i like for a game if it's a game like xenoverse where i'm gonna invest 60 dollars in it i'd like for it to be you know pretty long i i, I mean i kind of like i don't know i want to credit a pokemon game for this because pokemon games they just they may not be the longest games they probably aren't but they just seem like they're so long and part of it's because of the grinding now, Xenoverse, you, you kind of had to grind because if you were too weak or too level too low level when you were doing the campaign mode, you were just going to get smacked. I know I had to grind like that first time you fight Mirren, he's like level 35, I was like level 17, and I was like, man, this guy is tough. So I had to go back, parallel quest, grind, 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 come back, and I beat him afterwards, but I'm just saying, I, I personally like for there to be more story. I feel like they could have expanded on that. They kind of left us on a cliffhanger. Maybe they're going to incorporate Mira and Toa again in Xenoverse 2. That's why we didn't hear back from them, even though they, they kind of left off in a rage like, like uh, oh, we're going to come back and da 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 I was like, man, you, you mad, bro? You mad, bro? You, you mad, bro? I'll, I'll whoop the floor with you anytime I see you. But they never came back, and we got DLC for GT, and they never came back. So, yeah, they just kind of like flew off into oblivion. Maybe they're coming in Xenoverse 2, but uh, we need more. We need more actually campaign story that we can play through not just dlc additions but i mean the story needs to be longer and i didn't really like the plot of the story because just personally in my opinion it just seemed too one-sided you were doing the same thing they kept jumping just dropping in different points in time 
and you know you had to fight all these fights and you know help them help, help out the Z warrior in these iconic battles it didn't really make it, it not that it didn't make sense to me it just wasn't as good as it could have been I feel like it could have been executed better so yeah there's that I'm just I just like a longer story and while we're on the topic of story I feel like there needs to be more post game like content in here because when you get to post game there was one arc after post game and I believe that was the one with Broly where you had to go do Broly stuff after you actually beat the campaign but after that all you can do is RNG grinding and uh, character grinding and all that stuff. Now RNG's kind of got buffed a little bit with the Elder Kai. Oh my goodness, I did that quest with, I got it. And, and he was like, hey, you know, you can't get any luckier than this. So I went right to the freaking parallel quest of Goku and Vegeta transforming endlessly. Endlessly, that is the most OP parallel quest. I swear, I swear, I swear. But I beat it and I got every single item, all, <laughs> all the skills, the two Z souls. I was like, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm gonna go back and finally get Super Electric Strike. Oh my goodness. But anyways, so yeah, there's that. I feel like there needs to be more post-game content. I just, I, I feel like we need to have more things to do than just sit there and play the same parallel quest over and over and over. Now, whether that has to come in the form of DLC, like you guys did with this one, I, I feel like you guys did a great job with adding content on. Now, whether it has to come in the form of DLC is completely at your discretion. I wouldn't mind buying DLC. Um, I know a lot of people, $10 may be a lot for a lot of people. So I don't know, maybe we can come down on the price a little bit, but I wouldn't mind, you know, investing in DLC, especially if you guys can keep the standard going. The the bar you guys set with DLC pack three was just, it was awesome. DLC pack three was such a great pack. The characters were great, aside from uh, Super Vegeta. He was just, uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, he was just, uh, he was garbage. I'm not even gonna say he was garbage, he was garbage with the H and a few J's in the middle. Uh, so yeah, aside from that, if you guys can keep up the qualities, just the quality standard was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And another thing I wanted to say, you guys need to put actual baby in there because the DLC for GT didn't make sense because we're fighting baby Vegeta. And he's the ape baby Vegeta. It just didn't make sense, okay? There needs to be an actual baby in there because you guys were freaking putting baby Vegeta in there to try to compensate for, I'm sorry, grade ape baby Vegeta in there to kind of compensate for regular baby Vegeta when you guys could have just made baby Vegeta, I don't understand. But that's one thing I wanted to also say as well. He needs to be in there. That kind of goes back to the characters. I forgot about him. But if they can throw in Baby as a great ape, then they can throw regular Baby in there. But aside from that, I mean, there's not a whole, whole lot to do. The last couple things are just related to the game and performance. And the main thing everybody wants to see is better hit detection. I can't tell you how many times I have been in a 1v1 or an online match or rank match, anything like that. People have probably seen it in my rank videos and dimps. If you guys are watching this, go check out one of my rank videos. You'll definitely see it in like every single one of them. For one, the match will lag endlessly sometimes, and it won't be my internet connection. Maybe it'll be the other person's, but I don't know. Um, but also, the main thing is the hit detection because whenever you're fighting, um, somebody will, well, I'll just say for my example, I will hit somebody point blank. They won't do an evasive or anything. I'll hit them with an uh, uh, ultimate skill, for instance, a physical ultimate skill. It doesn't normally happen with me with key blast ones, but I just don't normally. I'm not a big key user. But anyways, I'll hit them with like justice combination or victory rush, and it just won't do anything to them. It won't do anything to them. And then eventually, you'll see them just go flying, and they'll see a chunk come out of their HP, or they just won't go flying, and they won't lose a chunk like nothing ever happened. That is horrible. That has screwed me over so many times, so that needs to get fixed ASAP. Matter of fact, that needs to get fixed in Xenoverse 1. I'm not waiting for Xen. I have no choice of it. Anyways, <laughs> seriously, though, a lot of people are raging about that. That's probably the main thing everybody's talking about. Hit detection, hit detection, hit detection. Last but not least, guys, we got to work on the server. I don't know what you guys have to do to get the server working better, but maybe we should... I, I, there's a limit to Toki Toki, I know that, but maybe there should be some other like precautions put in place because people just come in Toki Toki, they'll put their PS4 in rest mode. I just I only play on PS4. They'll put the PS4 in rest mode, they'll leave for a few hours, come back, they're still in Toki Toki. And it's just bogging down the server. Like, there, I know that the limit is there, and that's great for like starters. But we should probably have some sort of option to play offline. We shouldn't be forced to log into Toki Toki and play online, and only get to play offline if we can't connect to the network. That's the only reason we. That's the only way we get to play offline is if the game cannot connect to the PlayStation Network 
or you don't have PlayStation Plus or something like that. That's the only way, and that's not right. Because personally, for me, I don't like always being online. It slows down a lot of things I'm trying to do. So I, I prefer to, to be offline. And when I'm offline, you can still go to online battles. It'll still connect you for that, but you won't be logged into Toki Toki as far as I know because you won't see all the characters in Toki Toki running around and stuff, doing nothing, jumping around and stuff. So I don't know. We should have an option to where we can disable logging in. That would be awesome. But that's all I really had, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment. If you guys agree with me, like the video down below. Uh, share it with your friends. I want to get my video out there as well. I know that there are a lot of these out there, and they've, they've kind of died down in frequency of coming up. But this is something I really feel like needs to get heard by them. So the more we bubble this information up, the more likely they're like, they're, they'll be able to see it. And it may not be my video, but as long as it's somebody else's video, and we all pretty much all the YouTubers that are doing these pretty much have the same general ideas. As long as it's somebody... Um, then we'll get heard and hopefully we can see some of the stuff because production will be starting pretty soon and uh, that's what Rhyme Style and Thundershot said in their video. So yeah, that's it guys. Let me know how you guys feel about Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 down below in a comment. That's it guys. Peace out. You guys have a great day.